Thank you, Hasta, for having me on this uh, chat. And firstly, let me congratulate on completing uh, seven years uh, of exemplary service uh, to the industry. Um, talking about leadership, uh, you know, firstly, let me uh, share with you that uh, you know, leadership is something to me is like a triangle. Uh, you know, there are three corners. Uh, one is yourself as an individual, as a leader. Uh, second is uh, the intangible assets, your employees, and the third is customers. Uh, first, let me talk about the individual. I think uh, it's important for us, uh, you know, as leaders to understand our own strengths and weaknesses, uh, which is extremely important uh, in today's context. Uh, also, it is important to understand uh, what qualities do you possess, uh, what values do you bring to the role, and what kind of cultural dimension that you bring to the role, because all of this uh, finally ends up... Uh, you know, in uh, reshaping uh, and transforming the organization and the organizational culture will all lot depend on the leader as well. Uh, in terms of employees uh, and, uh, you know, the leader brings the connect to the organization, deals with the people, uh, the intangible assets cannot be ignored and, and what kind of relationship do you bring to the employees, the openness, the trustworthiness, uh, you know, telling the truth, uh, you know, not covering up things. I think this, these are all very important uh, uh, requirements to be a very strong leader and then of course the customer piece uh, it's important to understand where the business is moving uh, where the dynamics of the business is moving and how do you bring sustainable value creation for the enterprise and what does it mean for you as a leader that you need to prepare for yourself uh, for the future of the organization i think these are this is this triangle is very very, very important in my view uh, when it comes to uh, what qualities we look for in leaders um, I will just kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, call out three, but they are not in the order, but they are all equally important. Uh, first is about, uh, you know, uh, the curiosity of the individual, what uh, the individual brings uh, in terms of uh, ability to uh, uh, unlearn, learn and relearn, which is, you know, a continuous process in, in current context and the world we live in. Um, all of us come with broader knowledge, but, uh, but that's probably not enough uh, to deal with the, the challenges that the business presents. Uh, um, and also, I think uh, curiosity means also it should be open for reverse mentoring because diversity is an important factor. Uh, when the world is going digital, enterprises are moving digital, you're going to deal a lot with young people, with young talents actually. So this is very, very important, uh, you know, reverse mentoring as, as a process. The second is, uh, you know, uh, you know, I come from an engineering company and, and there's generally a tendency in an engineering company to put a lot of emphasis on the domain expertise and the IQ part of it, actually. I believe uh, uh, emotional intelligence is even higher required in leadership compared to IQ. Um, and, and why I say that is because, uh, you know, if you don't have the empathy factor in leaders, it's very difficult to lead people and, and bring about the change that is needed for the customers to really realize what value you can create for customers. Uh, so I think the emotional intelligence uh, is an extremely pivotal part of leadership in today's context. Uh, the last one is about the resilience, uh, what the leader brings, uh, you know, in terms of uh, a very big strength to himself. Uh, uh, you know, businesses are all about ups and downs today and, uh, you know, when you fall down, you should be able to get up quickly and run faster and even more agile uh, in, a, in a future context, actually. So, you know, resilience is, is, is going to redefine uh, how leaders react to uh, turbulent changes that are happening in the marketplace and what kinds of shifts that are needed, uh, you know, you need to bring. Uh, and also being more proactive, it's also very, very important. I will give you one example. You know, um, when COVID hit us, uh, especially India, we were the first to shut down on, on the 12th or 13th of March. We put in a simple framework even before the national lockdown came in. And we were the first to reopen as well uh, and reach 100% full capacity in our supply chain. All we did was we put safety as a very important focus for everybody, employees, contract employees, our customers, our suppliers, everything. I think we, we really put a lot of emphasis on that. So I think resilience is all about thinking through all these, uh, you know, all these challenges and, and really recrafting and redefining the road ahead for us. 
So I think these are the you know um, three qualities that we look for leadership uh, you know in in the way we look at uh, in different roles. Of course, there's uh, there's another element. If you're looking leaders uh, for international roles, the cultural context uh, becomes very very critical because you are dealing with people and uh, you know culture matters a lot. Uh, so for global roles, uh, you know, cultural understanding and adapting to cultures is an extremely important quality in leadership. Uh, thank you very much uh, for having us here and, and best wishes to uh, Tate and the team in Tate for uh, completing uh, this great milestone of seven years. Thank you.